We are here today at Max Hardware Corporate Office giving a demonstration on how to inflate the WIP water inflated property protector. Max is the exclusive distributor for the WIP system in North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Montana, and Nebraska. This WIP barrier that you see behind me is four feet high and 100 feet long when it's fully inflated. The fire trucks will come with some water in a moment, attach a couple of pump hoses, and we'll see that it inflates rather rapidly in a matter of minutes. This particular WIP barrier will hold about 22,500 gallons of water, and it will be nine feet wide when fully inflated. There are various ways that you can connect WIP units together. This one's standing alone, but you could put many of them together in a long row. You can overlap at corners to make 90 degree angles so you can go around buildings and go on for several miles. It's also possible to connect multiple WIP units of varying heights. You could put this four foot high barrier connected to a six foot high barrier and so on. So you can see that the WIP system for your flood protection needs is versatile. It can be used in a lot of different ways and it can be reused for numerous years. You can keep it in storage between use, pull it out and use it again year after year. Take it and just kind of clean the area all the way around it. Try and get mud, water, dirt, sand, anything that's on it. You always want to match the material. The material is going to rough side and the smooth side to it. So this here is a smooth side, so you want to match it to the smooth side on the patch. Even if the patch is wet, it will still stick there. Yep. I right, said so you can actually patch the material underwater. Dry it off as much as you can. Take it, put it on. You don't want to put it on real, real thick or real thin. Rub it all around your hole. Cody, did you explain some that you know you let it get? Uh, not yet, not not the joy attack yet, have it. Okay. And like I said, once you put your patch on the material, depending on the weather, how cold it is or how hot it is, which I'll be able more cold weather, the glue will, will take a little bit. It'll turn like a hazy white color, and it'll start getting tacky. Usually, you'll wait a couple of seconds up to a couple of minutes, just depending on how cold the weather is. Once it starts getting tacky, is when you want to stick it under the bar under the barrier. And you have to have it on both surfaces. It won't work on just one surface. On the bag itself and on the patch itself, wait generally a minute or so, and it gets frosty colored, of course tacky to the touch. Then you apply it, rub it generously, and this is, hopefully it works. If it gets below 40 degrees, it gets a little problematic. It, is, it isn't as adhesive. So, uh, Don't keep the can in your car in winter weather. <laughs> yeah, keep it kind of in a controlled environment, the adhesive itself. Cody, your hands are cold. <laughs> 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 a little warmer. Observation for us here. You see that chat at home. You don't care.